not getting recorded. Okay, all right. So let's start now. You know what is ratio? Simple thing. What is ratio? How we define ratio? It's like comparison of the quantities, right? Comparison of the comparison. Fine. Okay. Hello, Sushmita. Now, another one. Uh, like if we have 10 liters mixture of milk and water, in which milk is three is to two, then milk part will be three by five and water will be two by five. So three by five of some 10 liter and two by five of 10 liter. So five into two and five into two. So six liter will be milk and four liter will be water. I hope everybody knows this. Like we are going for revision. That's why I've taken this example. Only. Another one, when we have A is to B and B is to C is given, and we have to calculate A is to B is to C. Then how we calculate this? Let's say A is to B is 2 is to 3 and B is to C is 4 is to 5. So we write A is to B, B is to C. So 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 5. We need to make B common. So to make B common, we need to multiply 4 here. If we are multiplying 4 here, we need to multiply 4 here also. Similarly, we are multiplying 3 here. If we are multiplying 3, we need to multiply 3 here also. So this will be 8 is to 12 is to 15. Fine. I hope that's clear. Right. Now, this is 1. And the questions on ratios, you will find it easy because when you have covered uh, many topics, this would be easy topic. One more thing I will go quickly is on allegation. We will solve some questions on that too. So allegations, that is mixture and allegations. Okay, so mixture and allegations are nothing but what it is. Uh, uh, yeah, so let's say you bought one quantity or one type of rice at 10 rupees per kg and another quantity you bought at 30 rupees per kg and you are the you are the one who's a shopkeeper you are the shopkeeper and you decided to sell it for 25 rupees per kg so now what quantity you will take this type and what quantity you will take this type so 30 minus 25 5 and 25 minus 10 always the smaller number will get subtracted from the bigger number or the larger number so 25 minus 10 is 15. So 5 is to 15, that is 1 is to 3. So 1 is to 3, it means that 1 by 4 part, you will take this type price, and 3 by 4 parts, you will take this type price. Is that clear? Is that clear so far? Yes. Okay. All right. Not live on YouTube. Yes, Manish, because not live on YouTube because of technical error. Hence, I am recording the session. It will get uploaded after a while. Okay, so when you're clear with this, uh, let's move directly to the questions.
Okay, so the ratio of the numbers of ladies to gents at a party was one is to two, but when two ladies and two gents, the ratio becomes one is to three. How many people were there at the party originally? Okay, so fine. So X are the ladies and two X are the gents. Minus two from both the sides and should give you what? One is to three, right? So you can get the value of three here, three to six, two X minus two. So what will go here? This X is equal to four. X is equal to four. It means that three X are the total number of people. 12 is the answer. 12 is the answer. Okay, Dipesh. Yes, people have answered 12. That's the answer. I hope Dipesh, that's clear. Is that clear to everyone? Yeah, okay, fine. This is the easiest one, go for it. Like you, like I every time bring some closing basis. What did I say? In the beginning, some warm-up question should be there. Twenty thirty seventy. So, so that one piece will be two by five of the other piece will be three by five of it. Three by five of seventy. So, fourteen into three, forty two. You will get right if this is forty two, two by five that is twenty eight. Two by five of seventy that's twenty eight. So, forty two. What's the question ask? How many centimeter with the shorter pieces, piece B? 70 centimeter long wires to be cut into two pieces so that one piece will be two fifth of the other. If one is X, then another one is two fifth of X. Sorry, people, this is not the solution. I'm sorry. Okay, so if one part Two fifth, the seventy centimeter long wires to be cut into two pieces so that one is x and other one will be two by five of x. How many centimeter will the shorter piece be? Two by five of x. This is going lengthy, people. Is there any other way you people have done? This is. This is way too complex. Two by five of X. Two by five. I'm going to say two is to seven. Yes, Gautam, what you're saying is making sense. One minute, let me see this. Two by X, seven X by five, right of 70 this will get cancelled this will get cancelled this will get cancelled 2 into 10 20 centimeter correct 2 by 5 of x plus x of 70 right right got them fine yes 20 centimeters the answer people you people are right anybody let big b5 small b2 Subhash, big B5, when they're saying two by fifth of the other one, that's why we, we cannot say that way. That's what even I did. 
and I understood that I'm making a mistake there. Okay, Subhash, I hope you got my point. Okay, Lakshmi, is that clear? Lakshmi and Anjali, Rehan, Flywell, Sula. Okay, so fine, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, what we are doing is uh, so the total part B7, which is 70. Subhash, in that case, it could be three and four also. Okay, fine. I'm explaining again. So like if there are like 70 centimeter, if I have to divide it into two parts, a long 70 centimeter wire is cut into two pieces so that one piece will be two fifth of the other. So one is X and then other one is what? Two fifth of the previous one, two fifth of the other part. So this is the part. How many centimeter will the shorter piece be? So this will be my shorter part, right? Two by five of the X, 40% of X. This will be my shorter part. Okay, can one minute, can I do this way also? 100% plus 40% of 100. That is 140% is equal to 70. So X is equal to one by two. One minute, I'm trying to find out the solution, easy solution, if I guess I get it. 100% of X plus 40% of X. That's 140% of X is equal to 70. It means that X is equal to one by two. That is 50. This will be 50. And the other one is, okay, people, I think this method is easiest one. I'll explain you other one. They are saying correct, 100%, 75, 40%, right. Correct, this way also. So not 100% is one minute. There are two numbers, not 700. There are two numbers. One number is X and the other one is two by five of X. All right, so I assume this number is 100% X and this number is two by five is nothing but 40%. So 40% of X and that is equal to 70. Did you understand so far? Forget about this. Did you understand this part people? Did you understand this part people? I'll talk about you. Everyone has different method. Answer is same, doesn't matter. So when I add these, this will give me 140% of X is equal to 70, which means that X is equal to 70 into 100 by 140, which means that X is equal to 50. All right, if X is equal to 50, so this one will be what, 20? Where is 40% coming? So two by five of 100 will give you 40% gives. Two by five, three by five will be 60%. So two by five is 40%. Is that clear now or else? Even this method, the one which I was doing earlier was also similar stuff, people. What you people have done is fine. You people have just, even this is one and the same thing. Two by five of X is equal to 70. Just solve this, you will get the value of X and which I'm just, which I have just converted in terms of percentages. So this is actually more easier. That's what people are saying to me. Seven X by 50 is equal to 70, X is equal to 50. This is only three step method. That's what people were saying, right? Go with this, go with this. Okay, Emmanuel, I hope it is clear. Lisa, Emmanuel.
Can you confirm it quickly? All right. Saurabh, I hope it matches with your thing now. Okay, awesome, fine. Let's go with this one. is the answer so how it would be m1 t1 is equal to m2 t2 this will be 1000 into 15 is equal to 1200 into x right so yeah 15 1 15 8 0 0 100 by 8 is equal to 12.5 that's the answer Right, okay, let's move on. Right flywheel, that's the correct answer. Fine. B is the answer. Okay. So P Q R. P Q R. So can I say P share is right? Okay, P, Q, R, P share is 3x, this is 7x, this is 12x. So this difference, that is 4x is equal to 2400, which means that x is equal to 600. If x is equal to 600, we need to calculate Q and R shares, that is 5x. So 5 into 600, your answer is 6000, uh, sorry, 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 3000. Yeah, that's the answer. Correct, people. Fine. Let's move to the next one. Awesome flywheel. Cool. Majority of you are saying C. So 50 pesa will be 0.5 and 25 pesa. Only two are there or one rupee is also there. So one rupee 0 0.5 and this is 0.25. Right. I have in the ratio 4, 5x. So 1 into 4x plus 5 into or I will say 0.5 into 5x plus 0.25 into 6x and this entire amount contributes to what rupees 160 anyone has any confusion in making this equation 
<laughs> okay. Lisa, let's say that you have four coins of one rupee. Fine. If you have four coins of one rupee, how much rupee will you have? If you have four coins of one rupee, how much rupees you will have? Lisa, can you answer this? Lisa, 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 Lisa. Lisa, answer, 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 Lisa, answer. Good. So this is four. Now, if you have four into two coins of one rupee, how much you'll have? How much amount you'll have? Anil, Katri, eight, right? If you have four into four coins of one rupee, what amount will you have? 16. So basically what is happening? I'm, I don't know here the number of coins, but I am taking from my side one coin, two coin, four coin. But if it is X number of coins, because I don't know the number of coins. So that's why I'll take four X coins of one rupee. It means that I'll have four X rupees. Agree? Understood Anil and Lisa? Similarly, 50 paisa is nothing but 0.5 rupees and 25 paisa is 0.25 rupees. That's why we are taking 0.5 paisa of 5x coins. I don't know how many coins are there. That's why 5x coins of 0.5 rupees, 6x coins of 0.25 rupees and total comprises 160 rupees. So this is 4x plus point, this is 2.5x. Awesome. And 0.25 into 6 will be 150. So 1.5 X is equal to 160. 2.5 plus 1.5 is 4. 4, 4, 8 X is equal to 160. X is equal to 20. We need to calculate 25 paisa. 25 paisa is 6. So 6 into 20. Yes, your answer is 120. I hope it's clear. Done. So let's move on then. Okay, fine, go for it. B is the answer. So the equation will be 4x plus 1 by 2 of 4x, that is 2x, divided by 7x plus 3 by 4 of 7x. 
and this become 8 is to 7. Can't you solve this equation? This will become 6x and 4, 7, 28. 4, 7, 28. 28 plus 21 is 49x and into 4 will go in numerator. This is 8 by 7. So 4, 1, 4, 2, this will get cancelled. Everything is getting cancelled. 7, 1, 7, 7, 49, 2, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, one way to look at the answer is that A's earning has to be multiple of 4. So only one option which satisfies is 28,000. Right? Uh, okay, do one thing. Take A salary as 40 and B salary as 70. Are you getting some answer? If I take A salary as 40 increased by 20%, 20% uh, 20 20 increased by 50%. So this will give you 20. 7k divided by 4. 7k minus 7k divided by 4. Gautam, I did not understand the second. Oh, this is decreasing. Okay, 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 okay. So still, let's see this. Fine, I made it increase both. But then 2x and x will get cancelled out, I guess. So let's see. Four x plus two x. This is six x upon. Okay, four seven twenty eight twenty eight minus twenty one is again six x by four. So this four will go in numerator. But what we need to calculate. data is inadequate. Both sides comes 8 by 7. Here it is not coming 8 by 7. 7x here it is 7 I have taken common. So it is coming 4 by 7. C is correct in one case. One minute. So this is I think we are making doing right. 4 plus 2, 6x by 4 minus 3, 1. 7x by 4 you will get, right? 4 minus 7x I have taken common. 4 minus 3 by 4 is 1 by 4. Gotham in 4 plus 2 is 6 Gotham. I think so. 4 plus 2 is 6. No, this question is not making sense. 4 into 6x upon 7x. What we need to calculate? Mm -hmm. Data inadequate. One way. See, uh, one thing is that had it been... Okay, so take this one. If you are saying this fulfilling case, uh, Subhash, there is one more, uh, one more number. Take 80 and uh, another number is 140. Is it in the ratio of 4 is to 7? 24, uh, 24 and 27, right? Now, if I'll take this 80 plus 20% of 50% of 80, that is 40. And uh, 140 minus 25% of this, that is 35. So this will give you 120 and this is giving you 105, which is again in the case of 8 and 7. All right. What I meant to say here is that had it been one more option would have given here, like let's say A salary is rupees 80. And this option and this option. Then what? Both options are satisfying. I hope you are getting my point. People, yes or no? Gautam Subhash. That's why in this case also we cannot say you are going with the option. 
right but might be possible there is another option also otherwise you can if that is the case you can just go ahead with uh, like 28000 is divisible by 4 and a's earning should be divisible by 4 that's the direct answer in that case but if you see logically or like mathematically it's not giving you answer because here both the terms are getting cancelled x and x so what you need to calculate overall people i hope you are getting my point yes my point here is that when you are trying to use this method 6x this was not 6x 6x by 7x by 4 your x and x is getting cancelled so basically what you are calculating at the end at the end something we need to calculate at the same time if someone like i cannot say 28000 is the only correct answer because like other person can say that no my favorite number is 80 and 80 is also giving answer then why not 80 is there in option that's what happened in two days ago when somebody had sent one question in the group there was one question i was solving it yesterday some bad question what was that some x plus y 3x plus 2y is given something something divisible by 11 and that huge you people discussed almost like one hour on that question fine so yeah answer i will mark data inadequate because like yeah gautam is saying there is no reference what we need to calculate everything is getting cancelled so what you need to go ahead with so yeah fine saurav i hope that's okay with you right because if you are saying 28000 then i will say 80 is also possible then why not 80 is that and not only 80 there could be other options also fine okay let's go with this one d none of these again okay all right so 34000 so salary of a and the v and this is 3x the salary of each increased by 4000 the ratio become 40 by 57 is it is it negative Negative should not be the case. Fifty-seven into two is one one four x plus fifty-seven into four thousand. Let it be like this. Forty into three is one twenty x plus forty into four thousand. Let it be like this. Now what will go this this side? It will be six x and fifty-seven minus forty is seventeen into four thousand. Yes, the answer will be bad. Because seventeen is number which is correct. So answer is none of these. X number will be bad. Based on that, X X number will be decimal. So even salary of Ravi should be in decimal. Whereas none of the option is in decimal. And moreover, it's close to what? This is two, uh, three, two, three, and this is two thousand. So seventeen into two is thirty-four. 
thousand and three x. So much salary they are asking, right? People, three x. That's it. So thirty four thousand would be the answer. Sanjay Batha, I hope you understood. Because so much salary is three x part. Got it? Somebody answered thirty four thousand. That's correct. Fly well also, I guess. Fine. Answer is none of these. Fine. Let's go for this one. Thirty-eight thousand present. How are you getting thirty-eight thousand? Thirty-four thousand. Okay, thirty-eight. You add it. Okay, fine. But they are asking present salary. Okay, thirty-eight thousand. Fine. Thirty-four thousand plus four thousand. Present salary was the question. Okay, thank you. One is to three. Okay. How you people have approached this question? Oh, it is given everything right. Seventy. So men and women are in the ratio of four is to three. It means that forty and thirty. Among the women, the ratio of educated to uneducated is one is to four. That is ten and not ten and forty. Eight and eight and thirty-two. Did you understand eight and thirty-two people? How I got this one by five of forty. And how I got this four by five of forty. All right, you will get eight and thirty-two. Now others, the other one, they're saying the number of educated to uneducated person is so out of seventy, eight by thirty-five of seventy. That is sixteen. Yeah, this part is for female or males. This is for female. I calculated for males because four was looking good. Sorry. So this has to be one is to four. So six and twenty-four. Educated to uneducated. And this is again educated to uneducated. So seventy minus sixteen is fifty-four. Right, twenty-seven into two. So now, what we need to calculate the ratio of the number of the educated to uneducated men in the colony. Out of sixteen, six are female. It means that ten are males. Out of fifty-four, twenty-four are females. It means that thirty are. This is educated, and this is uneducated. How six and twenty-four? Sandeep, one by one one plus four one by five of thirty will give you six. Similarly, four by five of thirty will give you twenty-four. Fine. So yes, answer is one is to three. 
find people okay uh, there was one more question which i remember just now uh, one minute i'll go back to this i repeat what do you want me to repeat entire question there's one more question which i have seen and i share that with you some people are there 70 people are there and uh, this is what number of men and women are 40 and 30 all right now among women the ratio of educated to uneducated is 1 is to 4 so this is 1 is to 4 so 1 by 5 of 30 and this is 4 by 5 of 30 this will give you 24 and this will give you 6 is that clear sandeep peter is this part clear out of 30 women out of 30 women six women are educated and 24 women are uneducated fine now one more thing is given that is if the ratio of the total people if the ratio of number of educated to uneducated person if the ratio of the number of educated to uneducated means that they are talking out of this 70 so out of this 70 8 is to 27 so 8 is to 27 means what 8 is to 27 means 8 by 35 of 70 and this is 27 by 35 of 70 so this will give you 54 people overall are uneducated and this will give you 16 people overall are uneducated so out of 16 people six are women it means that 10 would be men understood peter and sandeep check with total out of the 16 six are here so remaining 10 has to go in the men educated men are 10 similarly uneducated people are 54 out of 54 24 are women so remaining 30 will be uneducated men so hence the ratio is 1 is to 3 10 is to 30 is 1 is to 3 is that clear Yes or no, Peter? Okay. All right. Now, there was one question where this part of question was not given. Okay. This part of question was not given. The ratio of number of men and women are this. Among the women, the ratio of uneducated to educated is this or whatever. And if the ratio number of uneducated educated to uneducated is this, then find the ratio of the number of educated to uneducated men in the colony. How will you approach this question then? What you know is this part, this part, and this part. How will you approach the question? Correct. Don't take x, right? If you take 4x and 3x, then you are like 1 by 5 of 3x. And this is here you will be troubling yourself. 1 by 5 of 3x and then 4 by 5 of 3x. Then you need to subtract x, that is 8 by 35 of x. And this will be 27 by 35 of x. You need to subtract so many things. So instead of this, assume a number which is multiple of 7. Like why 7? Because 4 plus 3 is giving you 7. Right? So assume a number which is multiple of 7. So you can assume 70, you can assume 700, 140. But assume some good number. 700 will also make your life simpler. Is that clear? I have seen that question. That's what I remember. And I was thinking that this is the one of them. Okay. I hope it's clear now. Good. Fine. So now we are moving to allegation questions. 
go for it. Two is two one, right? Oh, so in what ratio should two varieties of sugar? One is eighteen and another one is twenty four. Eighteen rupees per kg and another one is twenty four rupees per kg. Be mixed with to get a mixture of twenty rupees per kg. So twenty four minus twenty four, twenty minus eighteen, two. So this is two is two one. Yes, D is the answer. Is hello Jennifer. Good morning. So I hope it's clear to everyone who are like new for this type of questions. Is that clear, Nilias? Is it clear, Sonali? Tasnia. Tasnia, after a long time, got it right, people. Okay. Okay. Fair. Let's move to the next one then. Repeat, Sandeep. We will write one prize on one side, another prize on other side. Now think about it. That the mixture, these two were mixed. Understand the language of the question. These two were mixed to get a new mixture, and that mixture is costing what rupees? Twenty rupees per kg. So that has to be in center. From the larger one, subtract the smaller one. Twenty-four minus twenty is giving you four. Twenty minus eighteen will give you two. Cancel it. Okay. I hope that's clear, Sandeep. Fine. A is the answer. Okay. Good flavor. So forty per liter. One is should be mixed with two forty liters of second one variety, which is rupees sixty per liter, right? And the mixture is costing fifty two rupees. So what we will do, Sandeep? What we will do? From what should I subtract fraught? Correct. So sixty minus fifty-two, that will be eight, and fifty-two minus forty will be twelve. Right. Now look at this. 
12 became 240 liter. So 12 part, this ratio, right? This ratio, this ratio and this ratio has to be same. So if 12 part is 240, eight parts will be what? If 12 part is 240, eight parts is equal to what? So 12, one, 12, 20, eight part is equal to 160 liter. Yes, that's the answer. Okay, right, Rahul. I hope that's clear. So I'm moving on. Shall I? Till six o'clock, usual time. No, 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 Lisa, one minute, I'm, I'll wait. Uh, what we are doing, see, think about it. 60 minus 52 is giving you 8. 52 minus 42 is giving you 12. So this 12 part is nothing but 240 liters, right? Because you know that you have mixed 240 liters of second variety. And what you are getting it as, you, here you are getting it as 12 part. So this 12 part is equal to 240 liters. So eight part is equal to what? I did not subtract, I cancel, I divided. 12 ones are 12, 12, 20 is 240, eight into 20 is 160. Is that clear now, Lisa? Think logically. Okay, let me give one more example. People, those who are, it's a repeating for you. If it is repeating, then wait for a while so let's say a simple example 10 rupees the very first example which i take 30 rupees per kg right you bought three kgs of this type fine how many kgs you should buy of this type such that the mixture is costing you 25 rupees per kg so what you will do 35 minus 30 minus 25 is 5 and 25 minus 10 is 15. So what ratio you are getting? It's like 15 part is equal to 3 kgs. Or you can cancel it also 5, 1, 5, 3. So I'll do this way. 3 parts is equal to 3 kgs. So one part will be equal to what kg? 1 kg. Is that clear now, Lisa? Gautam, is that clear? Lisa, okay. I hope that's clear. Gautam, is that clear? Okay, fine people. I'm not getting the reply from him. Let's move to the next one. Okay. Hmm. Because this is little different question. Rahul, C, okay. B, okay. My answer is 83.33. B, okay. See, the 
a milkman sells the milk at the cost price but he mixes the water in it and thus he gains 9.09% 9.09% is what fraction Nine point zero nine is what fraction? One by eleven. Now pay attention, people. Okay, he is gaining this much part. All right, that's his gain. And gain is because of what? Because of water. Gain is because of water. All right. So can I say one part will be water? and 11 part will be milk so total he is selling is 12 parts did you understand this part people Anybody wants me to repeat? We know that gain is of 9.09. .09. It means that 1 11th is gain. And this gain is happening because of water. So I'll say that this one part is water and 11 part is milk. So total quantity is 12 part. Okay, Manish, that's what I'm explaining. 9.09 .09 .09 can be written as 1 by 11 percent. Oh, sorry, in fraction can be written as 1 by 11. Now, this is gain he is making. If he is making gain, he is making gain because of selling extra water. So, we'll say that one part he sold water and 11 part will be milk. That's where he is gaining. So, total he sold 12 quantity. Because the mixture is of milk and water, Sandeep. Okay. And if I'm making 111th as the profit, it means that 9.09, .09, it means that I would be making one part profit. 1 by 11th would be profit. How can I write 11 part as water, Sandeep? Like, okay, I got your question. The thing is that what is coming for free? Milk or water? Water. Now, is this gain too huge? Gain is what percent? Okay, think in this way. Gain is what percent? 9.09% is gain. 9.09 .09 is nothing but 1 by 11. It means that as his gain is 9.09 .09 only, if his gain is 9.09%, .09 that's where we can say that one part he would have added water and remaining part would have been milk. That's where he is gaining 9.09%. .09 so Manish is saying if that happens, then milkman business gonna shut down. Okay. I hope you are understanding the logic. By 9.09, .09, this profit is because of water. So this one part is water and 11 part is milk. So total quantity is 12 part. Now they're saying water in mixture of one liter. So water is what? One out of 12 parts. In total quantity, water is one part out of 12. So 1 by 12 into 200, your answer will be 83.33%. Little tricky this question was, but I hope it's clear. Okay. The question was not so direct, people. I hope that's clear. Okay. All right, let's move ahead.
This is mixture and allegation, Rudurgesh. We finished with ratio and proportion. I'll send, I'll share the PDF. Don't worry, Sandeep. Are you there on WhatsApp group or on Telegram group, Sandeep? Yes, no. Both group, wonderful. So do you ever open the PDF which I have shared ever? Do you have opened any of the videos? Uh, sorry, not videos, PDF. So when I share PPT, when I share PDF, each and everything what I write is there. All right. I don't have that much of time that I sit and erase everything. So go through that. And I'll suggest one more thing to you people that now it's too late. And I also got this suggestion in my mind very late that as soon as your session gets over, maybe for upcoming sessions, you can do this. As soon as your session gets over and you get this PDF once, just go through all the questions quickly. Like just look at the question, look at the solution, look at the question, look at the solution, look at the question, look at the solution. All right. When will the class class last? 15 April or which day? 15 April gone long back, Sandeep. Isn't it? When I'm not sure, I don't have any clarity yet. Okay. We'll inform to you people soon. Maybe tomorrow or on Monday or on Saturday. Whether this Saturday is the last class or next week also you have something. Okay. Fine. Anybody got the answer for this question? Two is the answer. So 70, 10 percent water, milk and water. It means that 63 liter milk and milk and 10, seven liters will be water. I hope that's clear. How many liters of water should be added to mixture so that the Mixture contains 12 and some X liters of water so that it will become 12 and half. 12 and half, it is like 12.5%. So one way to do is the easier way is milk part, water part is seven, seven plus X upon 70 plus x is equal to 12.5 upon 100. This is one way. Another way you can solve this equation and can do it or another logical way. You are adding some water content to it and that's why this is 12.5%. It means that milk will be 87.5%, right? So now you just solve this equation. 63 is 87.5% and uh, 7 plus X is 12.5%, which is one and the same. So I'll cancel this. I'll cancel with 25, 5, 25, 5, only 125, right? 25, 3, 75, then 125, 35, 5, 1, 5, 7, 7179 x is equal to 2. So writing this part here, 9 is equal to 7 plus x. So x is equal to 2. 2 is the answer. Write the page. 2 is the answer. Manish, send me an email. I'll send the link of the Telegram group to you. WhatsApp group, you cannot join. But people are more active on WhatsApp. Nice. Is that clear? Is this one clear now? Eighty-seven point five. How? One minute. Twenty-five five. Twenty-five four five. One five two. So this is eight. Eight into seven is fifty-six plus eight x is equal to seventy plus x. Eight 
8x एक्स माइनस एक्स सेवन एक्स सेवेंटी माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू ओके डू दिस मेथड एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव वॉज लाइक हंड्रेड हंड्रेड परसेंट माइनस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव इफ ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इज वॉटर देन रिमेनिंग विल बी मिल्क एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट विल बी मिल्क दैट्स वाई एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फाइन संजय i hope that's clear if 12.5% in mixture is water it means that remaining 87.5% that is 100 minus 12.5 87.5% will be milk or else you can use this also we are adding milk does anyone has any question that why we are adding 70 plus x here does anyone have any question people if you start communicating with each other i'll make the chat directly to me okay so please don't do that yeah how we are getting this if you are adding some liters of water it means that in 70 liters also some water will get added up all right so that's why 7 plus x and 70 plus x water is also get, getting added to the mixture correct got them fine let's go for this one similar stuff correct got them so the mixture quantity also increases right peter you need to send an email to me then i'll send the link to you okay remind me at the end i'll send an email my email id similar question people just give a try once anybody got the answer hundred i think 83.35 so 180 180 gram mixture 80% milk by weight so 80 gram is 80% is milk what is 80% of 180 gram will give you 144 gram so if 144 gram is milk it means that remaining 36 gram will be water right now what happens is 36 grams of pure milk is added so you have added 36 gram of pure milk so this will become 180 gram right this is 180 gram and this is what would be the percentage of milk in the mixture formed so 180 gram is milk and mixture formed is what 180 this 36 if we are adding it here this will get added up here also so 180 plus 
36. 180 plus 36 is 216. So 216 gram will get added. 216 into 100. The answer is 83.33%. All right. So now just cancel it. You can cancel it with 6, 630, 636, 65, 66, 23, 250. So your answer will be 250 by 3, 83.33%. That's the answer. Anybody to who it is not clear, let me know. Not understood. So Durgesh, 180 gram is the mixture of milk and water, right? 80% is milk. If 80% is milk, it means that 80% of 180 is 144. If in a 180 gram mixture, 36 grams of pure milk is added, in a mixture of milk and water, the proportion of milk and milk by weight is 80%. Now they haven't given this 180 directly in the beginning, they have given at the end. So that's 144. If 144 gram is, if, oh, sorry, if 144 gram is milk, it means that remaining gram is water. And what is that remaining gram? That remaining gram is 36 gram. Now they've already given that 36 gram of pure milk is added. So you have added 36 gram of pure milk. So if you are adding 36 gram of pure milk, you are adding it in total also. So your total quantity will be 216. And your milk part will be 144 plus 36, 180. Now just solve and divide it. You will get the answer. Okay. I hope that's clear, Durgesh. Fine. Let's move to the next one. Okay. So this is almost like last part. After that, we will move to 80 gram. 180 gram is given, Durgesh. Here it is given directly. And this 36 gram I'm adding to 144, I am getting again 180. All right. Fine, try it once again on your way, in your way. Okay, fine people. So these are some one of the questions which I want to discuss with you people. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four questions of similar type. Though I have already discussed this with you, but if you want to give a try, give a try. Quickly give a try. Okay, 28 liter exactly, no. Okay, so the thing is that understand one question, only one question, you will understand each and everything later. A container contains, let's say 100 liters of milk. From this container, 10 liters of milk was taken out and replaced by water. 
This process was further repeated, repeated further two times. How much milk is now contained in the container? Now, 100 liter milk is there. 100 liter. If I'm taking out 10 liter and replacing it with water, it means that 90 liter will be milk and 10 liter will be water. Fine. Next time, when you're taking out, it has to be in the ratio of 9 is to 1. Fine. Now, next time when you're taking out, again, 10 liters of solution will come out. 10 liters of solution will come out and 10 liters of water will get added. Now, think about it. 10 liters is what percent of 100? 10 liter is what percent of 100? I asked 10 liter is what percent of 100? Ten percent, right? So now ten percent of ten, that is one liter, will be out, and ten percent of ninety, that is nine liter, will come out. But I will say, don't get into all these details. What you need to do, simple, is hundred liter. If you are replacing ten liters, it means that ninety liter will remain. Hundred minus ten, ninety liter will remain out of what? Out of hundred. Now, how many times you are doing this process? This process was further repeated two times. So basically, you are doing it three times. So just write this ninety by hundred. How many times? Three times. That will be your answer. All right. So now here in this case, instead of hundred, what they have given? They have given us forty liters. 40 liters and from this container 4 liters of milk is taken out it means what liter will remain 36 36 out of 40 and how many times this process was done for three times not four times three times so 36 by 40 36 by 40 that's it you just need to solve this this is 9 by 10 so 9 by 10 is and this zero will get cancelled. 9 into 9 into 9 is 729. 729 into 4. 729 into 4 divided by 100. 4, 9, 36, 3, 4, 2, 8, 11, 1, 4, 7, 28. 29.16 will be your answer. Did you understand, people? Did you get it or not? All of you got it? Yeah. Why three times, Lakshmi? Because first time I already have done here and then was repeated further two times. So first time already done and then repeated further two times. That's why overall three times. Fine. So tell me the answer for this question then. After how many times the container only contain water? It's impossible because it's always a mixture of milk and water, Manish. And once milk and water is being mixed, you cannot separate it. So you cannot say that it will, once a situation will come where there is, there is only water. I hope you got my point. You just need to subtract it from total. So the way you did for that, Peter, like 100, you got, let's say you got 26, 29.16 you got as the milk part. From 40, subtract that, that will be water content. Is it making sense, Peter? All right. Okay, what's the answer for this one, people? Seventy two point nine. So what should I write here? Very first thing I'll write 90 liters because 90 is the total into what? What should I write here now? Nine liter is being removed. So what should I write? Nine by 10. No. Nine by 10, yeah, 81 by 90, correct. 81 by 90, that's 9 by 10. Whoever wrote 9 by 10, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. And now how many times I should do this process? 
because the sperm is removed and replaced with water now they are doing this only one more time it means that only one more time all right so 90 into 9 by 10 into 9 by 10 overall two times once they have done and then they have repeated once so yes 72.9 is the answer i hope it's clear yes now the next one is little trickier let's see how many of you will get it if you can just let me know the equation will be go will be good ahead good to go ahead Okay, shall we do this one and the next one? You try. So this time, do we know the total quantity? Do we know the total quantity? Yes or no? No, right? We don't know the total quantity. so i am just writing for an example like in the previous example what we used to write 100 into 90 by 100 to 90 by 100 that's what we used to write this is for example okay here i don't know this 100 so that's why i'll write x now 8 liters are drawn drawn from a cask full of wine and is then filled with water it means what is the replacing quantity here like in the in this question 10 liter was getting replaced in previous to previous question 4 liter was getting replaced in this question in the previous question 9 liter was getting replaced so in this question what liter is getting replaced 8 liters so if it is 8 liters it means that i'll write x minus 8 upon x correct x minus 8 out of total this that is what gonna remain this is what we write always for remain right and now how many times this process was done overall once we have done once we have done and then this operation was repeated three more times so overall four times so shall i write four here only x minus 8 by x into 4 x minus 8 x by can i write this way did you understand so far yes now the this is what this is wine quantity wine remaining quantity or like like wine quantity in the mixture right so now the ratio of the quantity of wine now left in the cask to that of water is 16 is to 65 wine is to water Is sixteen is to sixty five. Can I say wine part will be sixteen by eighty one? Sixteen plus sixty five. Five plus six eleven eighty one. Right. So can I equate divide by x is equal to sixteen by eighty one? now this x and this x will get cancel out basically you are getting x minus 8 upon x whole to the power 4 is equal to 16 by 81 did you understand so far if sushmita did you understand uh, 
Sushmita, did you understand 16 is to 65? That's given already. So if wine is to water is 16 is to 65, it means that wine part will be 16 by 81. Now 81 is what? 81 is total. And what is in, what is RK's total? RK's total is X liter. So total, total. Wine, wine. Leftover wine, leftover wine. Did you understand now? Now I can make it simpler because 16 by 81 is nothing but I can rewrite it here. X minus 8 by X whole to the power 4 is equal to this. I can write 2 by 3 whole to the power 4. 2 to the power 4 is 16. How come X in denominator? Because I'm comparing it with total bupin. Like my this 81, right? This let me change the color pen. This 81 is what? This 81 is total. Total. What is my total? X is my total. So if I have to, this is wine is to total. So here also it has to be wine is to total. So total is X. Leftover wine is X into X minus 8 by X whole to the power 4. I hope that's clear, Bhupin. Right? Now this power 4, power 4 will get cancelled out. X minus 8 upon X is equal to 2 by 3. So you will get 3X minus 24 is equal to 2X or X is equal to 24. Your answer is 24. Did you understand? Got it, people? Any other question you have, please ask. So that next question you are solving. Okay. So next question you are solving. Solve this question. This one is easier as compared to the previous one. Go for it. People, one minute. Okay. Did you get it, people? This one? People, give me one minute. I'll be back. Okay. Is it 15? Wow, Sandeep. Okay, got the answer? So it is like uh, x into x minus 6 by x. How many times we are doing this? Replaced by the water. How many times we did? Two times. Divide by x is equal to 9 by 25. So this will get cancelled out. x minus 6 upon x whole square is equal to 3 square by 5 square I can say. This will get cancelled out. So 5x minus 30 is equal to 3x or 2x is equal to 30 or x is equal to 15. So I hope that's clear to you, everyone here. Yeah, that's the answer, right? So oh, shit, people, there is a power cut. I'll log in again, okay?
you can try this question meanwhile. Hello, people. I am back. Okay. Uh, am I audible to you? I hope so. Yeah. All right. I'm extremely sorry. One minute. Give me a minute. My file also got. I don't know which one I was doing. Is that the one? So can you see the screen? Uh, sorry, can you see the file? I think so, yes. Okay, so something happened. I couldn't save all these things because it was sudden movement. All right, but I hope it's clear. Answer is for 15 for this. In any case, if you want me to go ahead with any question, you can ask me. Sandeep, today only this happened. Otherwise, it doesn't happen any other time. But today, there is some... Okay, anyway, let's continue. All right, so another... This is the, these are the questions on... Uh, suddenly, it got shut down. I couldn't save the file. I just typed everything, keep, but it couldn't get saved. So, yeah. Sandeep, whichever question you want, send it across in the group. Somebody will solve or I'll solve. Okay. All right. So somebody has doubt in this. Let's go ahead. A very simple way to approach this question. Let me go to the previous first slide. I'll change the topic name here. So whenever you are looking at 
whichever direction you are facing right whichever direction you are facing assume that you are facing north all right let's keep your life simple let's keep everyone's life simple okay so whichever whichever side you are facing it's one slide only it's same slide okay so this is north and then this is south all right this side is east and this side is west on your right is east on your left is west on everyone's right is east and on everyone's left is west is that clear don't get confused that no my house is facing in south direction and i'm facing south don't do that i hope that's clear we are facing north opposite is south left right is east and the left is west okay because that's the great combination confusion happened last time so this is south east this is north east and this is north west and this is south west all right so we'll move to the questions quickly all these questions are in one to one ppt pdf only okay uh so yeah i don't know what is happening again fine let's see can you try and tell me the answer of this one north east or east of north fine i'll come to that i'll come to that point so mr deepak mohan walks 5 km towards the south and then turns to the right 5 km towards the south it means that he is walking in this direction now where will be right your right is this side as of now so when you are moving opposite direction it means that your right will be this side isn't it so south like i said this is north this is south this is east this is west okay so you started walking towards south and then turns to the right you turn to the right okay walking 3 kilometers walking 3 kilometers you took left turn so your left will be your left will be this side and you walked the 5 kilometer again what direction is he facing right now what direction is he facing right now how come it is southwest people tell me one thing like if somebody is standing here this direction is south or southwest if he is facing this direction that's where you will say that it is southwest otherwise it is south only he is facing straight south when you move from this point to this point your direction will not change it will be still south all right south is the answer james i hope it that's clear okay i would like to tell one more example let's see if i have taken that or not because that's what confuses you a lot fine i'll try to see that what kilometer from starting point is that the question asked what kilometer from the starting point then there could be two option one is it could be a shortest to distance then you calculate this but again it's not possible because uh, you need to apply pythagoras theorem so as of now it is they are asking you south they are asking you direction go with that when they are asking you what kilometer they, there will be proper calculation with respect to that okay fine sandeep go for this one people no gautam which direction is he facing that's the question asked so question asked is in which direction is he going the direction will not get change okay it will be south you think about it like let's say you stay here you walked it towards one row then you took right turn i uh, one minute james i'll answer that uh, gautam this is for you 
there is one row you are walking in this row then there is another row parallel to it you took right turn here then there is another row so it means that still you are facing in south direction only it will not be southwest if you are going in this direction taking some 45 degree turn then you can say that you are you are facing in southwest direction okay all right uh, james yeah when like i said when we are whatever direction we are facing so let's say we are facing up direction like i'm facing the wall right now so i'll consider that as north so my right hand is on my uh, right side i'm sorry my right hand side is here right my right is here the similar way if i'm walking opposite my right will be the side you just turn around you will find your right on the opposite side i hope that answers your question okay so let's this question is famous all of you got the answer 45 meter east so one more i'll try i'm unable to move chat window also okay these the answer somya krishna krishnan okay i'm solving somya krishnan walked 20 meter towards north then she turned right so now i'm as i'm moving in north i'll turn right walks 30 km 30 meters only okay then she turns right now my right will be this side again my right will be this side and i walked the 35 meters so this is 20 and then another 15 i walked finally she turns left so she if she turns left this is another 15 meter in which direction and how many meters so this is 30 meter and then another 15 meter so if they are asking from how many points from the starting point so first of all this is 30 meter and then another 15 meter okay so this will give you east direction right now ideally i i got to know where your confusion is coming now you people had not ideally the answer should be something like this right if they are asking how many meters are you getting my point people i think i missed one fifth i missed some one direction one minute she walked the 35 meter it means 20 and 15 yeah and then she turns left and walk she turns left and then again left right i missed this 15 so right the answer is 30 and 15 correct direct answer is 30 and one more 15 answer is 45 east i missed another last 15 meter turn so yeah then there is no confusion in this see that the question is also like this if you see if i forgot to take one turn last turn i was unable to calculate that 45 meter i hope you got the point james i hope you are understanding too why you are confusing left and right think that you are moving now just if you are moving in this direction you know this is right and this is left okay if we are moving in this direction you know this is right and this is left as simple as that now just to turn wherever you are sitting turn so this will be right and this will be left right if you are moving in this direction turn u turn this will be right and this will be left can i say always clockwise is right think this way clockwise is right anti clockwise is left okay that makes your life simple all right you're welcome clockwise is right simple no confusion great combination 
clockwise is right anti clockwise is left now just don't stand no 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 my clock who moves in this direction uh, just okay so bina is saying if you are confused rotate your copy fine let's go for this question people i told you if you start trolling each other on chat i'll just make it to host okay then you keep trolling me and you know that i'll not get trolled okay anybody got the answer for this one no So actually, it is what north, south, east, west. This is actual. But due to the wind, it turns in such a manner that now west pointer is showing south. So this became south. Everything got shifted by what ninety degree. If this became south, this will become north. This will become west, and this will become east. So now Harish went in wrong direction, thinking that he was traveling in east. thinking that he is traveling in east so in what direction he was actually traveling he is thinking that he is traveling in east it means that he is traveling in its this, this direction so this is actual correct map so it means that he is walking in which direction he is walking in south south ha huh? b south from where north from actual to this is incorrect so he went in the wrong direction thinking that he is thinking correct that he was traveling in east so he this is his thinking part i hope that's clear all right peter i did not understand for what you said really but i hope you are understanding fine so this is now you can do it one question which i want you to explain like when i say north south east west okay when i say 30 meter to the south of sonal's house draw it and then i will see after a while 30 meter to the south of sonal house is flywell house let's say so where will where will flywell house will come so if this is sonal house 30 meter to the south of sonal house is flywell house Fine. Is that clear? Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Whose name you want me to take next? Whoever type in first me, I'll take that person name. If nobody types, or oh, nobody typed me. chunnu all right i'll take chunnu now if i'll say chunnu's house is in the west of flywell's house what meter by 45 meter so chunnu's house this will be chunnu's house 
45 meter west. West is this side. All right. I'll give Manish one minute. So I hope this, this uh, point is getting clear to you all. Munnu's house is in the south of Munnu's house is in the south of Flywell's house. I'm sorry, Flywell, for the spelling. By 40 meter. How far is Tonal and how far is Tonal's house from Chunnu's house? From Munnu's house. Can you tell me the final answer, people? 70 yo. In what direction you are moving from that, you can say that. Okay, so this is 30 meter and then Munnu's house is in the south of Flywell's house. So Munnu's house is in the south of Flywell's house. So now uh, who had asked that question to me? Not understanding. I Sorry, people I was dictating also. Lakshmi. So Lakshmi, now Flywell house will be the reference point. Now from Flywell's house, Munnu's house is in the south of Flywell's house. So south of Flywell's house will be here and Munnu's house is by 40 meter. This is by 40 meter. All right. So this is 40 meter. So 30 meter plus 40 meter. How far is Sonal's house from Munnu's house? This is Munnu's house. See, one thing I'll go and erase, everything gets erased. So it is 40 plus 30, 70. Okay. I hope that's clear. Fine. So do you want to solve or will solve this two, four questions tomorrow? Actually, three questions. Do you want to finish it now? Or will solve tomorrow. It's too late also. Tomorrow? Fine. We'll do that. Okay. Tomorrow I'm not clear yet whether I'm going to discuss. I have told you that we will be discussing one a mock test. But as of now, I did not get any clarity. So what I'm thinking is, before I say something, do you have any topic which you want me to take as a revision? Any particular topic? People, do you have any a topic which you want me to take tomorrow? Anyone? Or else we'll discuss logical part today, tomorrow. All the questions related to logical. Algebra questions. Okay, fine. So then we'll do one thing. I'll take some of the questions of algebra. Algebra and logical. Algebra is nothing but Venn diagram and uh, age questions, ranking. Okay, compound interest is very boring. Fine, we'll see that. Okay, all right. So tomorrow let's do logical because we haven't do we haven't done logical. So ranking question I'll take tomorrow, and some of the logical question mix up topic. Okay, okay. Ranking and puzzles will take done deal. Profit and loss is over. These are the question of partnership geometry. What do you want me to discuss in geometry, Sandeep? Algebra is simple. Okay. All right, people. So 
which time which time you are saying which time you are saying i did not understand your question sort of which first question you are saying this question this is five is this the question you are talking about yeah that also i'll discuss tomorrow all right kamlesh i remember to discuss that question so sort of sort of sort of okay others can leave will move on subhash not sorrow okay sorry subhash of direction these are direction question only which one are you talking is this the one no is this the one no then which one are you talking subhash which one this one first one first one only i have kept it open okay what do you want me to explain in this or what you are trying to explain me in this question here you can calculate distance as in like what 5 plus 3 plus 5 this is one way if you are taking this shortest distance then you cannot because you just know this part you don't know this part i got your point pythagoras theorem so you know this part but do you know this part this is entire part is 3 km but do you know exactly from where he had measured it could be 1 by 1.5 you can say 1.5 1.5 but that's again like tedious question when they haven't tasked don't do that all right it's just like the numbers are good here this is 5 and this is 3 and this is 5 then you can say that it is half and half but what if it would have been 5 here 3 here and 7 here then you wouldn't have got it all right because you don't know whether this is 1.5 or this is 2 and this is 1 or this is so that's all made up questions okay if it is given 5 4 then you can get yeah pythagoras theorem you can use it i hope that answers your question okay all right people so i'm moving you to take care mercy bye bye all right people take care i am leaving the meeting bye bye